And some deeply upsetting news out of the Royal Brisbane Hospital today with Cronulla forward Andrew Fafita in intensive care. His wife is by his bedside. Buzz, what are the doctors saying? Well, it's, it's not great, Bonnie, to be honest with you. Look, when he was admitted last night, uh, he was taken from the football in an ambulance, he was immediately placed in an induced coma and the media respected that and kept it private because it was to solve his breathing difficulties to make sure he was going to be OK. His wife got to the hospital, met with the surgeons and they've been left with a number of options. One of them is to undergo uh, surgery on his larynx. Um, yeah, so they'll know more in the next couple of days. Um, sadly, and we've got to look at this even though it's not certain, it could be a career ender for Andrew, 32 years of age. Interestingly, the Cronulla Sharks, Jack Williams, not the, the forward, Jack Williams, the halfback 5'8", suffered the same injury in a trial game early in this year, had to be put in a coma as well, got out, but he's not playing footy anymore. Mm. So, you know, we don't know. Look, the interesting story now is the match review committee. There are a few tackles in the game and I think we're just looking at one here now. This Clemmer incident. So this was Clemmer as the ball them. carrier coming in and, and leading with the forearm and I think this is what the match review committee is going to look a lot closely, a lot more closely at given the severity of the injury and the fact that it is distressing that Andrew is now in an induced coma. Yeah, it's an awful injury to suffer. I will say it's not... The extent of it, the fact that he's been put in an in, in induced coma is unusual. But you, you've got to listen to Darren Lockyer, Gary Larson. They, they've had permanent... Jeff mm. Toovey on, mm. on our own show had... Their voices changed permanently for copping wax in the throat. It, it is a, an occupational hazard, unfortunately. Uh, I think the fact that Andrew's age and all the rest of it, that's what's going to contribute to whether he continues playing. Nobody likes to see this happen. But again, I think that's fairly innocuous, to be honest. He played. We should know. He played on after this, and he yeah. was shaking hands at the end of the game. There were a couple of yes. incidents. The first one was Kurt Mann. Um, he mm. collected him high, and Andrew left the field for an HIA. The other one was Tyson Frizzell, who led with a palm. But we think that it is the the David Clemmer one looks to be the one that could have caused this injury. Yeah, and and guys, the reason why the match review committee would normally have wrapped this up by now, the fact. There were technical issues with the bunker because the game was played out of Redcliffe and you don't get the same feed you get out of a major stadium with you can get up to 20 camera angles. So they're just dotting their eyes, crossing every... just to make sure. But from what we can see in this vision, I certainly can't see a chargeable offence or anything deliberate in what looks to me as an unfortunate accident. Well, David Clemmer would have made 100 or more runs like that in his career, mm. so... I'm with Kenny. I think, look, you don't like to see any player sustain the injuries that Andrew have, but at the same time, it's a relatively innocuous incident. You don't, you don't actually see him reel out of any incident like he's been hurt, like he feels it. And the fact that whatever happened, whatever damage he suffered at some point during the game, he was able to continue the game, walk off the field OK. Mm. It's only a bit later when his body cooled. With the swelling. The swelling took yep. over. The adrenaline's getting out of his body. That That's when he began to have problems. So it's terrible news. It's just unfortunate See, something that See, that looks that really awful, even though we know Shocking, that the right? incident yeah. doesn't look as bad. But when you see well, images like this at full time, it is distressing. And to know that now Andrew is in an induced coma, in intensive care, his family by his bedside, that's a really serious situation for the Sharks prop to find himself in. And you can see there, he's upset, he's worried. And then all of a sudden, medical things can turn so quickly. So, yeah, sending all our best to, to Andrew and his family, obviously. Yeah, and the other thing is too, as, as everybody knows, when swelling begins to take place, uh, uh, the longer you go, you swell more. And that's what would have interfered with mm. his, his, his airways. Yeah which is why I think after the game we started to see the stress out of him because by that stage he's beginning to realise himself that he wasn't as breathing as well as he was five minutes earlier and, and, and that as the swelling takes place. And obviously that's why they, they, they induced him into the coma to actually uh, take the stress out of his body so his body's not fighting itself and it's not in that uh, fight or flight response. Yeah. But what have mm. the Sharks said about Andrew? And they're, they're obviously going to continue to monitor him and support mm. him, but, you know, have they given you a forecast to what, when they might be able to give you more information? Well, as I said, Bonnie, his wife met with surgeons today and the Cronulla Medica, who is still in Sydney, their main doctor, has got to speak to those surgeons as well 
because it's a, it's a sporting issue to a lesser degree, but it's the rest of his life, isn't it? And you know, being able to you know talk the best he can without the the Lockyer or the Larson voice. I, That'll I, actually help too, because yeah. that's probably that's what a lot of it happens is they get the, yeah. the the voice box gets ruptured in a certain extent and causes scarring, which is why the, yeah. their voice changes. So yeah, the the cone will actually help him in that area too. Yeah, he's, he's in a great hospital. He's in the best hands, and Cronulla are all over it and looking after his wife, his kids, and. Yeah, it's it's a it's a horrible thing to see, Bonnie. Particularly that photo on the back page this morning. Yeah. It's not pleasant. You know. And certainly hope that's not the last we see of Andrew Fafita in the NRL.